This is a video for how to go about creating the third of the tough ISOs um, parts in Autodesk Inventor. So the first thing we're going to do when we start out is we're going to start out with a basic L shape. It's going to be 100 by 100. We're going to come in 14. So let's go to Inventor. We're going to go to File and we're going to go to New. And these parts will be in Metric. So we're going to go to Metric, Standard Millimeter IPT, and say Create. I'm going to click on my pencil. X, Y plane, and let's go to our line command and go to the origin. We're going to go over a distance of 100 and hit enter, and we're going to go to front, and we're going to go up a distance of 100. Up a distance, make sure that perpendicular symbol is there, 100, and hit enter. And I'm going to go to front. I'm going to go to the left, a distance of 14, and hit enter. Same thing that we talked about when we first looked at this, 100 by 100 by 14 over. Now it's 14 up from the bottom over here, so 14 from 100 is going to be 86. We're going to go back to Inventor. We're going to go straight down a distance of 86 and hit Enter. We're going to go to the left all the way over until we hit this Y axis. We're just going to click, drag straight down, and right click and say OK. And I'm going to click on my um, cube right here. And let's make sure this right here is going to be our fit to view, our isometric view. So we're going to go to finish sketch and go to extrude. And we're going to flip our direction back. We're going to go back to the drawing. We're going to go back a distance of 70. So I'm going to highlight this and put in 70 and hit enter. And we've started out with our basic L shape. Let's go back to the drawing here. We're going to need to put in a fillet. Notice it gives us from the center point here a radius of 35. So we're going to go back to Inventor. We're going to use the fillet command. And our radius is going to be 35. And to fill it off that radius, we're going to click on the corners. This corner here and that opposite corner. And it fillets it off. And we can say OK. And we now have this object. Our next thing we want to do is we want to kind of create this little um, circle that's going to be extruded out from that center point. Now the diameter of this right here is going to be a diameter of 36. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of weird how it points to it. It's going to be a diameter of 36. This will be a diameter of 20. It kind of looks like this arrow is coming into here, but this distance between here and here is 14. So I can see that that's 36. We're going to use some different methods to kind of go about learning how to do this. And I have the primitives function box up here. If by chance you don't, you can just right click on any icon, go to show panels and click on primitives. We're going to click on the box button right here and go down to cylinder and it's going to ask me for a surface and we're going to click on this object right here. I'm going to click on left so this will zoom in. Now I'm not going to click. I'm just going to kind of go to this outside edge. I'm not clicking. I just want to reference this arc and it's going to give me this center point right here and we're going to click and drag out and I'm in diameter and I'm going to hit 36 and hit enter and then automatically it's going to go into extrude and we'll come back to the object here and the extrusion distance out is going to be 30. So I'm going to put in 30 and I'm going to hit enter. And then we want to put a hole inside of here that is concentric to this circle. The hole diameter is 20. So we are going to go up to the hole command. We're going to go to hole. And where it says linear, you're going to go to concentric. And we're going to click on this flat surface. And the concentric reference that's pushed in is going to be this outside circle. The diameter for the hole is going to be 20. Now, I don't see anything on the drawing that tells me that this does not go all the way through. So we will assume that it's going to go all the way through. It doesn't say right here a depth where this diameter of 20 is. I'm going to assume it goes through all, and we're going to say OK. So what you notice what we're able to do is cut that hole. It goes all the way through the object. Perfect. So our next step is going to be kind of create this kind of rib thing that comes down through the center here. And we're going to need to do a mid plane between two planes to get this done. So we're going to go up to the plane command and go down to mid plane between two planes. And we're going to click on this surface and we're going to go to the opposite side and tap on that surface and flip back around. Let's grab our pencil and we can click here or we can come over to our browser bar and click on work plane one. I'm going to click right here and it's going to flip. Let's go to our house button and let's right click in our graphics window and go down to slice graphics. And notice again, when we talk about cross sectional area. You'll see the area where material was cut. You would see section lines right here in a multi view drawing for a section view. We're going to go up to project cut edges and go down to project cut edges. And notice again, it highlights everywhere that we've cut. Our next step will be go to the line command and we're just going to draw for ourselves a line from this point down to here. And we're going to draw over the top of each one of these lines. Line here, straight up, line here, 
straight over and we're going to go to finish sketch. Notice what we're able to draw is this surface in here. Now we're going to do for ourselves a mid-plane extrusion that's going to be the distance of 14. I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to click inside this surface, mid-plane, 14, and hit enter. And you'll notice that now we have this little groove cut. Now you can see this kind of surface right in here. And if I look at the drawing, I don't know if they're going to keep this flat or not, but let's pretend for the sake of discussion, we want this to kind of come up and curve into the object. We're going to go over, we're going to right click on work plane one and turn off the visibility of this so we can see better. We're going to go to our pencil and we're going to zoom in and we're going to just click on that surface right there and click on your house button. And what I want you to do is go up to where it says project cut edges and go to project geometry. And you want to click where you see this rectangle show up, click. And you'll notice that it went around the whole object. See how I got the yellow lines all the way around? If I can see yellow over here and yellow over here, it found that existing geometry. We're going to right click and say OK. Remember, we could go to finish sketch, but we can also right click and go to create feature within sketch mode. So you can right click anywhere in your gray area, go down to create feature and go to extrude. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click, but it's going to force us to click two surfaces, this surface and this surface. And where it says distance, we just want to go to two next. We just want it to curve up into this object. Now say OK. And look at what happened. It came up into the curve. If I go to the left view and I look in, you can see a surface here. Go to the side view right here. There's no cutout. There's absolutely no cutout. Perfect. So we only have a couple things left to do. We have a hole to place right here. It's going to be 14 in from the side and 34 back from the ledge. Let's go up to the hole command. And we're going to do a linear hole. Linear means on this surface, it's going to ask us for our first reference. Our first reference in from the edge is 14. So we're that right down here. We highlight this. We'll put in 14. It's waiting over here for reference 2. Click on this front line. The distance back from the front is 34. I'm going to highlight right here and put in 34. The diameter of the holes is 15. 15, two holes. It's going to highlight right up here, 15. It goes all the way through. We say OK. Now, we're going to mirror this to the opposite side because these are the same holes on both sides, same dimensions. We're going to go up to the Mirror command. Click on Mirror. Come over to Hole 2. The first thing it's going to ask us for is Features, Hole 2. Click on the arrow for Mirror Plane. That work plane down through the middle is over here. We just don't have the lights turned on, if you will. We're going to click on that, and you're going to see your example over there on the side. This is your preliminary sketch to tell you what's going to happen. Say OK. You now have the hole on the opposite side. So we are finished with the third video for the 20 ISOs. You've made this part. We followed dimensions. We filleted. And we were able to kind of slice graphics and get this ribbon here in the middle, which can be kind of tough to do. So um, this has been the third video for 20, the tough 20 ISOs.